Welcome everybody back to another Boldcast Reaction. I'm Carson. I'm Lindsay. And this is ReZero episode 14. Last episode, Subaru fucked up and he got kicked out of uh, Amelia's good graces. Ready to see what happens this time. He got his ass kicked by Julian and uh, some shit's about to go down. Subaru is probably really depressed. We're going to see what happens this episode of ReZero. Make sure you guys leave a like on this video. Follow us on Instagram. Check out our previous ones if you haven't seen them already. I've seen the show. Lindsay hasn't seen the show. We're watching in the dub. Hope you guys enjoy. A total psycho. Perhaps we should pause and take a little break now. Forgive me. <laughs> Whoa, wait a second. What have you got to apologize for? I'm a friend to you as well as to Julius. I feel that my own lack of virtue was responsible. I failed to stop a dispute between two friends. A duel. There was no meaning behind it. Wait, what? There was no meaning? Yes. As nothing of value came from you two fighting, and Julius ended up tarnishing his career as a knight. Why not try to have a calm, open discussion with him? <laughs> I'm sure that would clear up any misunderstanding. Look, Reinhardt, I get how you feel. You really are a nice guy. So then, but I just can't accept that proposal. We're done talking. You should go back. <laughs> Subaru. What was it you gained from that duel? You've only suffered great losses. Even Miss Amelia. You better head back for today, Reinhardt, before your mistress gets lonely and starts yelling for you. <laughs> Mind your own damn business. Just a total asshole. Pretty much. <laughs> the only way to make him stop is to knock his ass out. Do you think I'm pathetic? Yes, I do. <laughs> nice. Seriously? Burned. You're still here with a loser like me. I don't get it. Are people voting for them? Too, huh? Whoa! Easy! Don't sneak up on me like that! Don't make someone I think in the end, the, count, the council shot. might choose. I'm not entirely sure. So we got five candidates? Maybe he'll explain it. Well, it's nothing short of insanity to let a half-elf be one of them, if you ask me. Amelia, huh? There's no way that a relative of the witch could become our ruler. Why does everybody say that? It doesn't mean she has anything to do with the witch. Don't lump them together and brush her off just because she happens to be a half-elf! Racist. Look, you think all half elves are dangerous just because the witch was one? That's right. <laughs> you listen to me. Every citizen around here is scared of the witch. That's just common knowledge. As long as people see her like that, there isn't any chance she's gonna win this. Hmm? Subaru Natsuki, would you mind joining me for a bit? Miss Cruce, right? Yes, that's right. Uh, I'm too young to drink alcohol. <laughs> You're welcome to have some water, then. Don't worry, I won't be drinking enough to get drunk tonight. How's the healing of your gait? Huh? Hey! Oh, uh, <laughs> I guess... You seem to be pretty busy lately. Yes, indeed. My family's currently gathering people and supplies in response to a certain occurrence. This word of the royal selections. I've received proposals every day now. I'm sure the other candidates have as well. Did you say proposals? You mean as in marriage? I guess they're all single, aren't they? Does that bother you? <laughs> really? It's just... Wait, that's right. I remember Mr. Wilhelm telling me that he had a beautiful wife. Are you aware of why he's acting as my servant? Seems rather curious to me. Why's that? <laughs> Is it strange? I mean, it's no different from what I wear when I dine with you. Uh, hang on. What do you mean by... Subaru, uh, we need to talk about something. Oh, boy. Has Rem told you what's been going on? The feeling I sensed was something like a presence through the sense that I share with my sister. I wish she could have used her clairvoyance to get a clearer picture, but that's all I have. We're not sure of the details yet, but it's from the Mather's domain. It seems some troubling movement was seen in the vicinity of his mansion. Parts of the domain are already on high alert as we speak. The moment I leave her, this starts happening? Everyone around her is an enemy. Only one person can take her side. I'll be back. One second, sorry. And that would be me. Okay, then. 
We have to go there and help settle things, right? You mustn't, Subar. Making sure you're healed must take priority. Ren, no one's at Amelia's side. You and I are the only ones who can help her. <sighs> Till it's taken care of, my healing will Subaru just have to... If you leave at this time, I'm left with no choice but to make you my enemy. <clears throat> Perhaps I need to correct one idea you have. I've only allowed you to stay here as a guest and receive treatment because I'm contracted to do so. Contracted? Yes, that's right. However, if you abandon that yourself, I am not obligated to continue protecting you. Amelia and I will not hesitate to become enemies. I was wrong about you. I thought that maybe, just maybe, you and I could actually get along. Your advice? That was just a little joke over I heard everything, drinks. sorry. I was stupid to take you seriously when you told me to be an enemy to do what I could. You don't want me to leave because getting Amelia out of trouble would be bad, wouldn't it? I think Nyas seemed to have gotten some things wrong. Look, <laughs> no, I will say it, the mistake she's making is a bit too great. Even if you leave here and rush to her side, nothing will change. It's a waste of time. After making a fool of yourself at the castle and being clobbered by Julius, and you still don't realize that, you'll be much better off staying with us and finishing up your treatment. I've decided I'm going back to Amelia. This is exactly what ruined everything in the first place. I guess that saying is not true. It's because of your warning that I've made up my mind. Thanks for that. Rev, how long until we reach the mansion? About two and a half days, I think. We used a road that's covered in fog now. We'll have to use a detour. Who cares about a little fog? The fog is created by the white whale. If we encounter it, whale. we'd never get out alive. Please, take care of yourselves. Are you getting anything from Rob? Not yet. She needs me by her side. I know I can save her. Once I do, I'm sure she'll understand. She has to. I'm not really liking this new attitude you've got. I mean, <laughs> not really it's new. not really new, but I'm not really liking this... Your extra approach. amplified attitude that you have right now. Why are we stopping here? We have to hurry. I'm sorry, Subaru, but the ground dragon can't go any farther right now. The ground dragon, okay. I can't sleep. Subaru, are you awake? Yeah. I can't sleep, so I hope that we could talk. Really? You're pretty worried about the mansion what you felt through your shared sense, aren't you? Hey, it'll be fine. We're not the sort of lovable kids who get our feelings hurt so easily. We'll get right back there, and I'll fix things. Yeah, I've put my faith in you, Subaru. Mm -hmm. <sighs> are you okay, Ren? Is something wrong? Why are you holding on to me? Because I want to. Because I'm healing your gate, just as Felix did, Subaru. Oh, right. Healing. That makes sense. Yeah, sure, of course you are. <laughs> Amelia, she'll be angry with me, won't she? If you take the time to properly face her, I'm sure she'll understand. You're a truly wonderful person, after all. Yeah, I am. I guess so, huh? Amelia is hopeless without me. Nice one. Are you the one who's named Otto? Uh, okay. So please, just be patient and wait here for me to return. You think I'm a useless good for nothing too, Rem? Oh man, I think I've just been introduced to someone who could be real trouble for me. <laughs> <laughs> if you won't trust me, why should I depend on you? <laughs> Okay, if we 
turn back now? After coming this far? My crown dragon is frightened. It knows by instinct that this place is too dangerous to approach. Looks like we're already in the Mather's domain. Got it. Wait, please, don't go out there. <laughs> Let's just head back, okay? They keep taking me close enough, Autumn. You're welcome to take the money and all my stuff, okay? I can't do that. It is not to rethink this. Come back. the same freaking fucking slain where they sit. You shouldn't have destroyed the sharpest sword in that village, bro. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Did he just... It Was he just set in such shock, I guess? Yeah, you're just so shocked by everything. Where's Red? Where is she? Red is. Red. 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 Be patient and wait here for me to return. When all of this is taken care of, I'll come back for you. Please, be safe. I beg you to wait for my return. Please. <laughs> Crazy episode. What do you think? Still didn't fucking listen to literally anyone. He had to be forced to stay behind as well yeah but yeah he's just so weak that not even rem as much as she loves him can't believe that he's strong enough to like help out because he's just such a fucking baby boy yeah but i think he's he wouldn't even if he was strong with the mindset that he's in he wouldn't do any good anyway i don't think yeah, you it's know hard to, it's hard to believe that he would oh, yeah that conversation with Krush Krush. Mm -hmm. What, what what even did she actually say? She was just like... Did she actually even say anything? I can listen to it again. Yeah, she was talking all, like, sort of personally about how he should stop being a little bitch and, like, you yeah. know, if he wants something, actually try to achieve it and don't just, like, gratify yourself. Basically just telling him to fucking wise up, smarten up, basically. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then he, he just immediately turns on them. Oh, and there was also that thing... Uh, where Felix was talking to purple hair guy at the very, very beginning. Julian? Yeah, Julian. Felix was talking to Julian and was like, why would you help him like that uh, about Subaru? So it seemed, I'm not entirely sure how, but it's like, they're all trying to help him and he just is like not paying attention. Mm -hmm. They're helping him in a way that just doesn't make sense to him. But if he actually thought about it and just stopped thinking that everyone was against him. He also had that comment when he was outside where he realized that all half-elves were, like, hated and everything. And he was talking about, like, how he can't understand. It, like, goes both ways. She doesn't understand what's going on with him because he doesn't tell her. But he doesn't understand what's going on with her. She doesn't tell him. Mm -hmm. What do you think about that? I think it's... I think it's sort of a half truth because he, as far as I can remember, he hasn't really asked in a way like that he's genuinely a asking about that specifically. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I'm just trying to think back and make sure I'm not missing anything. When she asks him, what would you want as a reward for this? Instead of saying, 
oh, I would like to know more about you, or I would like to know uh, what the deal is with this place. He's, he's instead like, oh, I want to pet Puck, or oh, mm-hmm. I, I want to do this. Mm-hmm. Uh, which means he's not thinking, he's not sort of thinking far ahead about what might be useful information for him to get that he could sort of uh, bargain for with with this opportunity that she's giving him. Yeah, I guess that's just what I was thinking. It's it's both that she's not telling him and that he's not asking. Mm-hmm. And, and I guess everyone's dead at the end. That entire village was dead. It might be a good time for him to die as well. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, what can he even fucking do? He's like two and a half days away because the quick, the shortcut is cut off. And like, yeah, like... He's gonna need to pull some real shit, and he, first he'll need to die, and like all the people, did, did, what what the fuck was that? The the cult like just ran past him. Yeah, that was weird. Those to me looked like the same people who killed all Rem and Rom's mm-hmm. uh, people, village, whatever. Yeah. Back in the day, I'm assuming it's like the witch's cult, perhaps, or, or just angry. They look like cultists. Yeah. Some kind of cult going on just came in there and then decided that he wasn't worth their time mm-hmm. and left, which is kind of funny. Yeah. Even even the bad guys don't even <laughs> want to waste their time killing you, even though they killed literally every single, every other person, even children. Yeah. They don't, you're not even worth their time. Pretty bad. Yeah. But I'm hoping now that he's, like, seen everyone he kind of cares about dead, he might sort of reevaluate. I hope it doesn't the worst thing that could happen is he could be like, see, this is what happens when I'm not here to protect them. <laughs> and if he goes that route, I will be pretty disappointed. Well hopefully yeah, hopefully he gets it at this point. Hopefully with Rem leaving him behind because he did sort of re- like realize like, oh, even she thinks I'm fucking useless. Mm-hmm. Like hopefully he take really takes that to heart and figures out pretty quickly that, that that's what's going on mm-hmm. it's just being a fucking asshole that's all i gotta say about the episode do you have any more you want to say yeah and she said she she was healing the gate was she actually or was she just putting him to sleep i think she was just putting him rem to sleep. Yeah, yeah i think that she was just uh putting him to sleep yeah that was kind of sad mm-hmm. but i just hope that he will learn from this and g- maybe think about it a bit more and get some new ideas yeah stop thinking of himself as the most important person and the the most essential person to everyone's life like oh they're useless without me they they can't even survive without me i need to be there to protect them yeah i mean even if you were there if if rem couldn't defeat people you really think that you could Mm -hmm. i mean he the thing is is he has helped save people before but not not from his fighting skills. Mm-hmm. He's done it with his knowledge about what is going to happen. So and he does he doesn't have any of that right now because he hasn't died recently and gone back. Yeah, I'm thinking next episode is going to be a little return by death scenario. I don't know what would give you that idea. <laughs> That's a real bold prediction to think that he'd use return by death. I don't know how he's going to use it, but I. Or he's just gonna get killed. He's like that picture of that like environmental activist like holding up the sign that's just like save the world, kill yourself. <laughs> hope you guys enjoyed this reaction to ReZero episode. What was it even? Fourteen. 14. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you leave a like on this video because that really helps us out. Hope you subscribe and check out our previous ReZero reactions. And stay tuned for the next one. I'm Carson. I'm Lindsay. And we'll see you in the next episode. Bye bye.